Greetings, printmakers. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to tear down a full sheet of Western printmaking paper without measuring and without using a ruler. I'm gonna use a tear bar. Uh, this is a tear bar from Takich. I've had this for 20 years, absolutely love it. There's a problem though. My tear bar is shorter. It's not long enough to measure across this whole sheet of paper. So I'm gonna show you how to solve that as well. There are many good reasons uh, for tearing down paper like this, but I think the most common one is buying full sheets is the most affordable way to purchase printmaking paper without buying the roll. So many of you just starting out, uh, buying a full sheet is gonna be the most economical, but it's also gonna feel very unwieldy. So here's how you turn uh, tear it down evenly. First, make sure that your surface is clean and wiped down. The last thing you wanna do is tear down your paper, be super happy and then flip it over and notice you know, dirt marks on the printing side. So clean your surface. Number two, make sure you're tearing on the back side of the paper. When you're working with a full sheet, if you hold the paper up like so, in the bottom right hand corner, right here, you will see a watermark, okay? And if you can read the watermark, well, that means the paper's right side up. So you wanna flip it over so the watermark is in reverse and typically on the lower left-hand corner side. Now, I'm ready to tear down my paper. So the first thing you're gonna do is find the true center of the paper. You do this by lightly folding the paper in half like so, matching the two lower corners, holding it down with your finger, and then diagonally running your finger across the top and pinching down the top like so, on the opposite corner. So you're pinching down the upper right-hand corner. Then you're gonna do the exact same thing with the upper left-hand corner. Line up those two corners, Hold it down with your left hand and then draw an invisible line across with your right index finger and push down on the lower right hand part corner of the paper. And so when you open it up, the paper, unfold the paper like a book, you will see two faint pinch marks and then a, a little crease that gradually disappears. These are your true center marks. So I'm going to take my tear bar and I am going to line it up with the lower, with the upper crease, like so. And so I'm matching it with that pinched corner and just following the ruler across that pinched line. I'm not worrying about my measuring lines or anything like that. If your ruler or your tear bar is long enough, you can line it up so with the bottom crease. Sometimes the crease from the bottom might extend far enough to where you can line it up against the ruler. So once I've done that, once I found my true center line, I'm going to tear across the tear bar. One thing that I love about these tear bars is that they're super weighty. If you're using a thin metal ruler, it's going to shift a lot. You just can't put like enough pressure down. So having a, uh, a proper tear bar is really essential for Western paper just because of the weight. All right, and now when it's time for me to adjust, I'm going to slowly bring the tear bar down across the lower crease, make sure the tear bar is lined up parallel with my first tear and I'm going to complete the tear like so. All right, now I have two half sheets of Western paper and I'm going to continue uh, to tear them down, put in the upper left hand corner. Once again, I'm going to find that true center, bottom left hand corner, pinch up here, upper left hand corner, pinch down there and I'm gonna do this second tear. And the more you do this, the quicker you're gonna get at it. And the smaller your paper gets, the more manageable it's going to be. When I tear my 
a Western paper in half, all of a sudden the tear bar is long enough to reach across the paper. So it's only that initial first tear uh, where I need to adjust the tear bar. So don't let that trip you up, right? <clears throat> and again, I'm going to line it up, make my tear. One, make sure to tear across long swooping motions. Okay, and now I have quarter sheets. So I'm gonna do it one more time. Or who knows, maybe two more times. You can get a lot of mileage out of this paper. And if you're a beginning printmaker or even a seasoned one, sometimes you wanna use the whole sheet, right? That's the way we get the most out of our money. <laughs> Printmaking is such an expensive art form, but it's the best art form. So tearing down paper evenly is quick, efficient, and you get to use the full sheet of uh, paper. You know, not that having scraps, if you're measuring for a specific paper size and you have scraps left over, that's actually wonderful because you can use those scraps for uh, color testing or to make smaller prints. There's a million things you can do, but Sometimes we just want to get our paper torn down so we can make prints. <laughs> Notice how I'm not um, I'm not tearing down uh, each sheet as far as it can go, uh, and then moving on to like the next half sheet or the next quarter sheet. I'm tearing all my paper down to the same size at the same time. This way, I don't get lost when I'm tearing paper. I always know what size I'm tearing down to and how many more I have left. You know, when, when it comes to tearing paper uh, or cutting paper, I don't like thinking. <laughs> uh, but I also know that it's very easy to trip yourself up and make a, the wrong tear and then all of a sudden you feel so bad because you just wasted like $10 or $5, whatever, on a sheet of printmaking paper. The reason why I'm tearing it down so much is because I want you to see how even it is, right? You can just keep going with it. So I'm going to line up the ruler again, again. You see how fast you get at it once you've made it smaller and smaller. Uh, one of the rules with printmaking is that, uh, you know, it's the rule of scale. The larger your paper is, the larger your print is, the more all of your problems just amplify and uh, more problems begin to show themselves. You know, I really love working small. I'm not a sizist. Uh, my, you know, the, my best selling work is large work, but uh, there's something so intimate about working small. Um, and so you can see, just how many sheets I'm getting out of this single sheet of Western paper. And again, I'm buying paper larger than my tear bar can reach. So even though it, it feels so unwieldy when you purchase it, don't let that uh, deter you. You know, buy it, tear, tear it down. You'll learn how to do it fast. Now, as I'm tearing down the sheets of paper, I am seeing that watermark sheet pop up a lot. <clears throat> you can use to use you can choose to use the watermark in your edition. Some artists like to use the watermark sheet of paper for their artist proof. Uh, I think that's you know pretty cool. Um, I normally wouldn't include the watermark in an edition that I'm selling or um, donating but uh, some artists do. And you notice I can work really fast now that the paper is smaller. It's a lot easier to make those X, X's in the corner or to draw that, that X with my finger. Um, and as you can see, I haven't even uh, measured once. The only reason you're seeing these measuring lines is because I'm doing it on my self-healing cutting mat, but I'm ignoring them. All right, so 
as you can see, perfectly torn down, nice and even. Beautiful Western paper. Hope this is helpful and I hope it helps you love the experience of making print.